I didn't even check the weather. I don't even know if it's gonna rain or what, but if it does, it does, whatever. I got a white car, so as soon as I get out this car wash, this shit gonna be dirty anyway. All right, we going in, boys. All right, so I got her nice and cleaned up now. She looking immaculate. So sometimes y'all gonna see me doing like third gear pulls from 70 miles per hour. And that's just because I love it so much now. It pulls so much better on the top end ever since I added the J-pipe. Before I put the J-pipe on, I only had the pre-cat delete and the manifold spacer. When I added the pre-cat delete on there before the manifold spacer, the car pulled pretty good. But as soon as I added the manifold spacer, like my top end just like pretty much fell off, bro. Like it fell off a lot. It took me about like a week or two to like notice. I feel like I gained like low end power, like low end torque, but I really felt that my top end got worse. Once I got into like third and fourth gear or just doing a pull from above 60 miles per hour, it just felt weak. It felt weaker than stock to be honest. <laughs> I can't really remember what it felt like when it was stock and when I just had the pre-cat deletes, but I do know it pulled a lot harder when it was stock and when it had the pre-cat deletes versus when I put the manifold space on. And now that I have the J-pipe, I feel like I gained some of that back. And I'm actually pretty happy about it. So I love doing third gear pulls now. And sometimes I do want to take the manifold space off to see if the top end does improve a little bit more, but at the same time, I feel like it's worth having it on. The low end torque, man, it, it really helps out. And I'm gonna show y'all a clip of me racing a Chevy SS. Now, I didn't beat this car by any means because this car is making like over 400 horsepower. And um, he took me on the top end, but like my initial power was just like instant, almost instantaneously. And he had to like catch back up to me and stuff. But I'm gonna drop it right here so y'all can see it. <laughs> close you can see he counted down and I took off and you can see it in the the side view camera where he had to catch back up but eventually he did pass me up but stuff like that bro when you race other cars that's like on the chorus level like whether it's like a 350z or a q50 this manifold spacer it, it, it helps out a lot from like 30 or 40 rows and stuff like that so this next clip i'm gonna show y'all this is against my boys rt charger some of y'all probably already seen it now i don't know if the spacer like made this much of a difference i mean because every rt i race like I pretty much walked them from any anything from like a 20, 30, or 40 row. An RT charger is not keeping up with uh, a Core V6. No. So I just left the store. I picked up some new spark plugs. I got four right here, and then I got the other two in the back. I got NGK. So I got this little mount light right here. Oh. Pro mount, pivot light, whatever. Bro, this thing is bright as fuck, bro. So this was a gift that was given to me on Christmas, so I can't even tell you how much it was, but when I cut this thing on, bro, it's on as bright as the sun. See, goddamn. So I'm gonna go ahead and use that while I'm installing the spark plug, because right now I'm in the garage. So yeah, about to get that done. I just got finished putting this one in right here. Um, I'm currently working on this one. I just took it out and here's the old one. Here's the new one. As you can see the old one looking all crusty and nasty. The new one, real crispy, clean. So I'm going to throw that in right now. So I bought this car with 68,000 miles on it um, two years ago. And now I currently have over a hundred thousand. So it was definitely time for me to replace these plugs. 
So here's all three of the old plugs from the front. Now I gotta go into the back. So I gotta figure out, dang y'all just hit that. Now I gotta go into the back, but I gotta figure out how I'm gonna get back there. I gotta figure out how I'm gonna reach back there and mount this light up so I can see it. But I'm gonna figure it out. It shouldn't be too hard. But I'm about to take this first coil pack out and get up in there. And right now I'm having trouble trying to figure out how the hell I'm gonna get my socket back out. Just dropped it in there just now. Uh, and I'm putting the extension in there, but when I try to take the socket out, my because the extension is so long and it's gonna hit against the firewall, I won't be able to get it out. But I think I know how I'm gonna do it. I just tried it with the smaller extension, and the smaller extension reaches out just enough for me to pull it out with my finger. So hopefully, when it's time for me to take it out, it'll you know act the same. Okay, so now I'm finished putting the plugs in. I'm just putting this coil pack back in, and after that, I'll be all done.